Hi guys. I wanted to show you how I use these uh, plastic rods to make my uh, my custom uh, spacers. Whatever I uh, whatever the distance I need, I can find with this. So I just have these 15 millimeters, 15 centimeters plastic rods that I just cut to size and then with a one millimeter drill I just make a hole in it and I usually use them with let me find my focus I usually use them with uh, any screws that will uh, that will fit my uh, my purpose. I store these on uh, on some magnets. Very good way to keep them. So this is how they come. They are not perfectly round, but for some uh, for some reason I don't even need them to be perfectly round. I hope that this is focusing. I have no way of, say, of telling that. Okay. So, the only thing that I do, just to keep them in, uh, in place, I use one of these edge protectors, or you can use anything, it doesn't matter. Just the ones that I'm using right now are 30 millimeters long, so it's three centimeters. I'm sorry for you guys that don't know millimeters, I don't know inches, so I'm sorry for that. So I just align it. Don't have one of those precise measuring tools, those calipers. Didn't find my way around to buying one. So I will just mark 30 millimeters. So I know that I need this side to be 30 millimeters long. So when I will cut, I will just use uh, one of these, I don't know how they are called, hand saws things. And when I will cut, I'll keep this blade on the side of the sign, yeah, like this, because if I'll cut on the sign, half of the width of this, uh, of this blade will go into the length that I need, and half of it will go on the other part that I will use later on. But I will not have 30 millimeters anyway, so I am using it when I cut, I just cut here, not on the sign, yeah, and I have precisely 30 millimeters here, or as precise as possible. Hopefully I won't forget to focus. It's not even remotely focused. Okay. I will just cut the thing where I need it. makes a bit of a mess but here you go at least you have exactly what you need and then with some very fine sandpaper don't know what 
what size is this one what number is this one I believe 600 I just flattened the, the surface because after cutting it it will have some some debris left on it so I will just make it flat a little bit the end cut will always look like this because it's plastic but if you just clean it a little bit with your finger it will go black again then just just because I'm using them with uh, with this type of screw don't know the sizes of it just some small screws for me for me everything is a screw small or big and obviously I don't find my screwdriver now yeah so this is the screw hopefully that was the screw this tiny little thing okay so in order to make that go in a little bit easier I'll just use a one millimeter drill and I will make a hole as in the middle as accurate as I can go don't think that for this purpose it will need to be exactly in the middle anyway these things are not perfectly round so most probably it won't have a middle okay somewhere there I have my pilot hole and if your screwdriver doesn't hold your screws very well just put some magnets on its arm and now that screw will just stay there and I make that that hole I make a little bit of a thread inside that that hole so when I am assembling it it will be a little bit better so look at the difference with magnets and without magnets this is something that I just do <laughs> find it to be pretty useful okay so take the screw out I'll just repeat the process on the other side somewhere in the middle because the screw is uh, so small don't actually need to be exactly in the middle and because the the plastic itself the material itself is pretty good it will not crack that easy I will uh, I'll make a, a test and see how how much weight can it and its support on these screws <coughs> and then I after I drill the hole uh, I will make a little bit of a thread inside of it it will just look like this So, after repeating the process, I'll have four of these things, it's 
pesos. And they will be well, obviously if they don't go the first time to be as precise just go ahead and smooth them more with, with some of this thing so now I have four spacers to use on whatever I need them and that whatever in my case is I will show you now I moved the camera also, that's nice. Okay, kind of like this. So I want to use them on my V262. I want to put another another PCB support bracket plate whatever on top of the on top of the one that's on the quad itself I want to put it like this to have the plate a little bit protected but uh, also to have access to to every one of these uh, connectors on the plate and because I want on top of it to put the battery and I will swap places for uh, the camera and the, the battery holder so I'll have the, the battery holder on top and my battery will go on top of it and under I will just put a Mobius camera and I will use that I will uh, show you guys how this will look after I will uh, I'll put it in place. Okay, thanks.